I hope everyone's having a good day or night, wherever they are. And we're just going to go over some basic achievements in uh, Dead Polly. Um, a survival game. It's kind of like Daisy in a way. But uh, the graphics are a lot more uh, friendly, I would say. But uh, today we're going to go over the achievement. I don't think you guys can see what I'm going over right now. But we are going over the achievement Maze Master Number 1. And uh, in order to do that, you're going to want to make your way onto this ship. And uh, I like to place stairs to get in there. You're going to need at least four, and then you can jump on in. And you're going to want onto this second layer. Feel free to search all these crates, obviously, but where you're going to want to go is up here. Oh, look at that heavy vest. I'm definitely picking that up on my way out. I think it's this one. Aha, it is. Now, this is the start of the maze, right here. Second floor. Right here and if you can't get up i'll show you quickly at the end if you don't make that jump because you can uh crouch jump and make your way up here Ooh, i was wrong see now you just gotta find the rest of the containers and make your way to the end It's up far right. And there you are. Dead stop end. Dead end stop. And then in the bottom right hand corner, in your Steam achievements, so come up, Maze Master number one. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a wrap. Oh, yeah, when you hit the dance button, you can't exit first person. <laughs> so I started dancing and turning like this. And that's how you get the achievement. I hope I was able to help you. And if I didn't, oh well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And again, if you did enjoy the video, oh well. Now enjoy the rest of your day or night, wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next one. Well, what do you do if you don't make that jump onto the second level? Well, you're going to want to open up all these containers and search them all and find yourself a table and if you get unlucky and you don't find a table or two then you're going to have to do it a different way but this is the way i like to do it if you don't make it up the first one but here i'll show you over here if you come over here you can actually get onto this and you can see there's tables up there it's kind of tricky sometimes there you go see how i made that you can jump up there like that and then you can pick up one of these tables here open up one of these containers place it down here and then obviously don't forget to pick up the new table and then you want to crouch jump onto the top and you run all the way across to you know where the door is and you can open this side up too but yeah you drop down to here and there you are voila and then if you're on this side obviously just place the table down over here and you'll be good to go. Okay, well that table is actually a little too small. Well, I'm out of stamina. Anyways, so actually probably go the other way. <laughs> because you're going to need a, a, a big table, not a small table, to jump up crouch jumping the way I did on the back end. But yeah, that's how you get up if you don't make it up nice and easy the first time with the stairs. And then just to get off the boat nice and quick here, you jump like this, like that. You're going to want to land right here. And then take your time going down or you get launched down a bit. And there you go. And we're out of here.